SH Figure Arts, Kamen Rider Nago. Hey, finally got this. I feel like I pre-ordered this like 10,000 years ago, but we finally have it. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Uh, we actually opened the box already on, you know, I, was it on live stream, I think? I think so. Um, but we will take out the actual figure and check it out. So we got Kamen Rider Nago beat form from Kamen Rider Geats. Very, very nice. We got the very beautiful box as usual with Kamen Rider Nago beat form right at the front. On the side, another picture of Kamen Rider Nago, Nago beat form. Very cool with her beat axe, the guitar. On the other side, just a continuation of the front there. And on the back, we got Kamen Rider Nago beat form doing some poses and being very, very cool. And yeah, there's another picture of her right there, just standing there. Top logo and stuff. And let's reopen the box. <laughs> Make sure to check out, you know, the rest of our videos because, you know, we do a lot of stuff here. We do a lot of stuff on the channel. Okay, look at you. Ooh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love the paint. Love the paint on her, the old figure art paint. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is so good, like the gold and the silver. And then you got the blue and the pink. I love the blue and the pink on her. That looks so good. That looks so good. Let's take this plastic stuff off. All right, I got that off. Look at this, wow. Very, very nice. Wow, look at that. This is gorgeous, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. The, I love the metallic paint they use on these things. It's, there's, it's so nice. Um, yeah, the detailing is always good on these. You got like her stereo <laughs> uh, speaker shoulder pads and you know, you got all the little details on there. Got the details on the back as well. Very, very cool. Love that. Oh man. So this is a female mold. So this doesn't have this swappable armor gimmick. So you can't like take this armor off and put it on like Geats or any of the male riders because they're just different body molds. So it just wouldn't work. Would have been nice to get another female rider that had like that capability of so that we could do armor swaps, like if we got Lopo or uh, Tycoon Sister. I don't remember, I don't remember the name. Uh, but yeah, either one of those um, would have been nice to have, even though they don't necessarily have their own special armor. I mean, at least Lopo does, kind of. She can use boost if she wanted to, so. Um, but, you know. Whatever, this is still cool. I mean, I don't. I really don't know how much I would be using this swappable armor gimmick anyways. Like, especially with figure arts, it's like, you wouldn't really expect swappable parts on figure arts anyways, you know? Figure arts are there to like, you know, pose and display on your shelf and look very pretty. <laughs> so, um, you know, even if I had like Tycoon or Buffa, which I don't, um, I would probably use the swappable gimmick once and then put back the armor and that that's it <laughs> that would pretty much be it but um i mean it's nice to have the options for sure but i definitely would just want them in like their base form so um whatever i mean we got this one so this is really really nice despite not being able to do the swappable armor gimmick you can still revolve on her stuff like that, and I believe you can still take off the raised buckle like such. Yes, very, very nice. Can you take off the core ID? I don't remember. I haven't been playing with my Geats one, so I don't remember. Maybe not, okay. That, I mean, that would make sense. You wouldn't really need to take that off, huh? Because she is always Kamen Rider Nago. <laughs> um, you could also put the buckles in here, in the sides. Bam! like such, very cool. She also has another side over there. If we really wanted to, we could take like, for example, Boost from Geats and also put it on right 
there as well, you know, so that she's ready to use it. So we got a bunch of stuff for her, of course. We got hands, you know, the usual. And this very, very beautiful looking beat axe. This guitar, which looks, oh my gosh, wow. Again, very beautiful pink and blue. Um, it said it has something on it. If you could focus, oh, it's just a little design, maybe a little beat, uh, kind of raised buckle-y design on there, I guess. I don't know, um, but it's very cool, very pretty. What does this connect to? What's that for? This black thing. I don't know. Does it? I don't know. Not sure. Oh, maybe this is for to put it on here. Is that what? <laughs> I mean, I guess she could carry her axe like that. I guess that's kind of silly, but you know, we have that option. We don't need it on there though. All right, we got to give her axe and we're going to have her play it like a guitar because you know, that's what essentially this is. So we got to get her the right hands. Let's see, probably this one. That one looks like a guitar holding hand and then this one looks like she's kind of playing it, right? Let's try those ones. Okay, we're gonna take off her hands very easily. Thank you, Bandai. Very easy to put on. And she's gonna hold it like a guitar. I'm trying to recreate this pose right here where she's holding the guitar, but it looks like She's kind of also resting the guitar like on her leg, like on her thigh there. So we're gonna try that. <laughs> we're gonna try because yeah, the, this hand won't really like hold the guitar up. She's gonna kind of hold it up more like she's doing a solo. Okay, after what felt like another 10,000 years, I think I figured it out kinda. <laughs> I, uh, I figured out you kind of have to like have her hold the guitar a little more down the neck um, or is it up the neck? I don't remember the term. Um, I, I know I play music, but um, it's been a while. Um, I kind of wanted her, her to hold the, the frets or the buttons up here, but yeah, that just wasn't going to wasn't going to happen. But you know what? This works, right? I think it works. Yeah. Or I could even like have her... Kind of go like this too, like yeah, yeah, rocking out. That that's cool too. I might have her do that. I'm not sure. Um, that's really cool. We could also pose her with our other Geats uh, figure art, Common Rider Geats. There you go. Bam. The two characters. Do I plan on getting any more Geats characters? Probably not. <laughs> not. Probably not. <laughs> I definitely want King Oger. Uh, Kuwagata Oger that's coming next month and then Gachard will come out probably in what February or March and uh, I don't know we'll see if I want any other writers uh, you know whatever writers they decide to put out in um, you know for Kamara Gachard but not only that we got our lady writers right here from Revice that we could also pose with uh, Nago right here so we got Janu and Aguilera right there. Very cool. Yeah, we got <laughs> we got all the ladies. There is a rumor that there will be a female writer in Kamen Rider Gotchard. So yeah, I'll probably get her her figure art too. I want to support the female writers because you know we gotta get more female writers. We got it. We eventually gotta get a a main writer who's a female. I mean that's just that's just gotta happen. At least hopefully in my lifetime that <laughs> happens. I'd love to see that. It all, we almost got it with Revise. So we're, we're getting there. We got, we got to get there. So um, I'll definitely keep supporting uh, these figures here. But th these they look really good together. Really, really awesome. Uh, yeah, but that's going to be pretty much it here. Thank you all so much, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Follow us on our social media, data ships below, please have a Discord. So make sure you flex your toys, collectibles, SH figure arts, and all that good stuff. And we will see you all. Next time.